Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm here today with a comparison video of these three bags sitting here. Now these are all mini bags from Chanel. It's not all of the mini bags from Chanel. It's three of the more popular bags, I think. And so I hope that this comparison will be helpful to you. It has been something that I have asked if you guys are interested in before and I've, I've gathered questions. So thank you to all who have put a question down. Sorry it took so long to get to it, but I really wanted to try out this mini rectangular which I got late last year of 2021. I wanted to give it a good try before I tell you about sort of the wear and tear portion of this video. So I will put timestamps below so that you can jump around if you want it to because we're going to go through a lot of different details about these bags. If for some reason I still haven't covered your question, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. So yeah, uh, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emily and I love handbags. I do handbag comparisons, reviews, and unboxings. I also love travel fashion and luxury. So definitely consider subscribing to my channel so that you'll be notified of future videos. There is a lot to cover today, like I said, so I'm gonna try to speed through this as much as I can while still being informative. Um, so I will go through things like the size of the bag, the weight of the bag, the drop length, um, what can fit, some wear and tear that I've noticed, and also the price, because that is a big topic for um, a lot of luxury handbag nowadays. Um, as you know, a lot of prices are increasing, so the prices that I give you here may be out of date by the time this video is released, but I'll try my best to get the most current price for you. So I've written everything in a notebook here because otherwise I would not remember what all the details are. Let me just introduce to you what bags are actually here. The first one that I have here is the mini reissue in the black distressed calfskin and shiny gold hardware. As you can see, this is in still pristine condition, even though this is one of the oldest bags that I have in the three here. I've probably had this for a couple of years. Um, so, yep, that's what it looks like. The second bag I'm showing you here is the mini square Pearl Crush, and it's called the Pearl Crush because it does have this little Chanel bobble and it is adjustable. So that's one of the big selling points of this bag. It's in the square shape and it is in lambskin black leather in antique gold hardware. This one is super supple and soft and you can see that I've had this for about maybe a year, year and a half um, and it's still in great condition. And yeah, so I don't know if I showed you the inside right there, but it has a gold interior. Finally, our third contestant here is the mini rectangular. This is my newest one. I've had this for maybe about three months now, and it is in the iridescent calfskin. It is obviously in pristine condition because I just got it. And yep, this one is the most rigid out of the three. I don't know if you can tell just by how I'm holding it. And the inside of this is the same color leather as the rest of the bag. So now that you've got a quick look at each of the bags here, I'm just gonna tell you the size of them really quickly. Starting with the smallest bag, it is this mini square. This one measures five inches in height and 2.75 inches in depth. And then the length across is 6.5 inches. And the weight of this bag is just a little under a pound. So it's at 0.97 pounds. The drop length, if I extended it to the farthest, because this one is adjustable, as you can see, um, if I extended it to the longest, it is at 22 inches of a drop. The next largest size I would say is this mini rectangular. It is five inches tall. So the same height as this one. It, I measured it at five inch, I measured this one at five inches tall, but if I put it side by side, I would say the mini square is just like maybe a quarter of an inch taller. So these measurements are really rough because depending on how you stretch and pull and the material of the give of the material, um, it could be a little bigger. So if I'm just eyeballing it, I would say the square is just a tad bit taller. Okay, and then the the depth of this is 2.5, so it is a little bit more narrow than, let's see if I can show you. So yeah, 
it is a little bit more uh, narrow than the square. So the square is a little bit more wide. And then the length of this one is 7.5 inches. So this one's obviously longer than the square, which you you guys already know that by the looks of it. The square is a little bit deeper, but the mini rectangle is a little bit longer. All right, finally, we have our largest bag and it is the mini reissue. The mini reissue is five inches tall. Um, and if I put it right next to the mini rectangle, um, it does look about the same height. And this one in terms of the depth is 2.75. So this one is the same depth as the mini square. Um, so this one is more narrow. These two are the same depth. And then the length of this one is the lar longest at 7.75 inches. So if I held it up, it actually looks very comparable, but I had measured this one to be slightly bigger, but eyeballing it, I think it's about, I would say about the same uh, length. So um, in summary, this is basically the height of the square, but the length of um, the mini rectangle. So this one has the larger of each of the measurements. So that's why this, this is the larger of all three of them. The strap length of the mini rectangle is 21 inches. And the same is true for this one, which is at 21 inches. So you can see it's, it's very comparable to be the same. The mini square is obviously, it's adjustable. So you can make it to this length because the longest of this one is 22. So it could for sure be 21 inches like these ones. But this mini reissue can also be doubled up like so, and it would be 11 inches of a drop, which again, the mini rectangle can also get adjusted to the length of 11 inches because it's adjustable. The weight of the mini reissue and the weight of the mini rectangle are both one pound. So overall, the weight of all three of these bags are very similar. It's about one pound em being empty. And the, the size of them are also very comparable. Sometimes a little bit taller, sometimes they're a little bit wider, and sometimes they're both. So that hence why the mini issue is a little bit bigger. I also wanted to point out that there are three different materials here. The iridescent calf skin is a little bit more um, structured. And so when you put something more rigid in it, it doesn't give as much. Distressed calf skin has more give. I don't know if you can see. So when you put something more bulky, something bigger, it can kind of accommodate uh, due to the more supple nature of the material. Lamb skin is also very soft and supple. Um, and at the same time, it also is easy to like stretch and give if you have more bulky items. So I've noticed I could fit quite a bit more things in here, even though the measurement of them is of this one isn't as big. So I'm also insert mod shots here for you to see how the drop drop length wears on me. I can I can generally wear this one crossbody and on the shoulder. I can um, I can wear all of them crossbody and all of them just on one shoulder. I can also wear the mini reissue very short on the shoulder. I suppose I can also do that for the mini square, but I never wear it that short because the length is very long of the chain that is. <laughs> When you pull the chain through to make it shorter, that chain is very long. So I don't usually move that higher than like, maybe like rib cage length, um, because otherwise it just gets too long, which is also why I sort of wanted to get another adjustable one where the chain kind of wraps back onto itself. So we'll see if I get my hands on one of those this year. All right, so I have you now at a different angle because I wanted to share with you what can fit in each of these bags. I'm gonna go with the smallest bag first, and I do wanna point out that this is the mini square of the Pearl Crush, so again, if you get a different type of mini square, the, the dimension could be slightly different. Inside, you see it's just one big compartment with a slip pocket back here. I'm not gonna put anything in the slip pocket, um, so I'm just gonna be working with the main compartment here. I have a mini pochette from Louis Vuitton, and you'll see that it does fit in here and it's very snug, but it does fit and you can fit other things in there. I have a Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, which also can fit in there, as you can see. I also have a lippy here and that can also fit in the side here, but it's getting very, very full. I don't think I can fit anything else um, 
in here. So if I were to remove the wallet, I can put a Chanel snap card holder in here the same way. But again, I, I don't know if I could fit more. Maybe I could fit the sunglasses here. No, I, I think the sunglasses would make it too tall and it won't fit into the, it won't close. But if I took out the mini pochette and I had the my um, card holder and then I put my sunglasses in here, there's still some space, but now you can actually close the bag like so. I also brought a water bottle. It's a mini water bottle. I have gotten asked before. Um, so I just wanted to share with you that if you wanted to put a water, a mini water bottle, it does fit in there fine, uh, but it will prevent you from being able to fit other things like a wallet um, because unless you have a short wallet, it does stick up on top and I, can you close it? It's a very tight squeeze. I suppose you could put that wallet there. So wallet and um, water bottle and also probably a lipstick in this case. Yep. But it is, it is at maximum capacity now. I do also have a mini iPad, but as you can see, there's no point in trying to put this in here. Next up, we have our mini rectangle and this one is longer in length, but you'll see that even so, you cannot fit a mini uh, iPad in here. We have the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton and that fits in here no problem. We also can fit the Victorine wallet in here. It's a compact wallet, no problem. And again, it could fit the Lippy in here, no problem. So it fits very similar items to the mini square. And so just to show you, it closes just fine. Again, this is the more rigid material. So um, if you had a lambskin uh, of this version, it might fit more. I also wanted to share that the Chanel card case can go in here. Um, and you can also put in a pair of sunglasses and a lippy. I think you can also, let's see, put in a wallet. You can put in the wallet, the card holder, the lippy. You can put in several lippies. Like if you had a hand cream or something, you can also put that in there. And then can we close this? Let's see. No, this is too tall. So um, the this mini square is taller, so you can put something on top, but this one you cannot. It does fit a lot longer items in here though. So I would say this one fits maybe the same amount as the mini square, but it can fit a couple more lipsticks or lipstick-like items in there. Oh, I also wanted to point out that this one does have a slip pocket and a zip pocket, but I, I usually don't use those, so I am not putting anything in those. The mini, or the little tiny water bottle um, does kind of fit, but it really distorts the bag. Um, so I would say it you can't really close it. I, I mean, in a pinch, you could make it work, but I think the mini square definitely fits this better because it's a little, just a little bit deeper in length. Finally, we have the largest size, which is the mini reissue here. And showing the inside, there is a slip pocket and a zip pocket, which I will not be putting anything in. Unfortunately, this is a black interior leather, so it's harder to see, but I hope when I put things in there, you can still see. Uh, I have the mini iPad. I just wanted to share with you, it still doesn't fit in this one. We have the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton and it fits no problem. We can also put in the Victorine wallet, no problem. And then the lippy and another like hand cream. So that fits just fine. Let's see, can we put the sunglasses on top? Um, the sunglasses can fit in there, but it makes it very difficult to close. Let me see if I could wiggle it. I don't think so. I don't think so, but if I took this um, mini pochette out and replaced it with say like a card holder like that, then I can put my sunglasses, I think. So let's try it. Yes, now we can close it. So we just can't have something this uh, tall and bulky. So there we are. Let's take all of this out. 
and then share with you that this mini bottle can fit in here just like it can in the mini square and so you close it and it doesn't distort the shape you can't even tell that there's a water bottle in there um, and so because of that you can still fit like card holder lippy hand cream so you can still fit those in there with your water bottle so I actually forgot to say that my phone fits perfectly in all of these bags. Um, I was using my phone to look up stuff. So um, I just want to show you with you really quick. It does fit into the square, even though it's the um, shortest across. But if you wanted to see, it does fit into all of these very well. So I have the Pixel 5 from Google, but you can see if you have a bigger phone, it might be worth getting the rectangle because it won't fit lengthwise across if your phone is larger than mine. I, just, I guess I'll share with you this one as well. Um, this is the mini reissue. And again, there's t tons of space across. So yeah, if you have a similar size phone like mine, which is about 5.75 inches, um, then it will fit in all of these bags. But if you have one larger, definitely consider the mini rectangle or the mini reissue because the mini square is definitely gonna be too small. All right, so I'm now gonna move on to wear and tear. To be honest, I do not see any wear and tear on any of these bags. Um, I don't see any scratches on the hardware and I don't see any like the one that I would probably be the most nitpicky at is the lambskin and even that one, the corners are, are doing just fine. I was the most worried about this one because lambskin is known to be the most delicate. It feels the nicest, but it's also the most delicate, but yet it has come out okay. Um, the oldest one that I have here is in the distressed calfskin. So it's really hard to see if there are any scratches because it comes sort of almost like distressed already, like the name says. So you can't really tell what's new, what's old, you know, that's what should be there, what shouldn't be there. But if I'm just looking at it, I don't think there are any um, deep scratches. Okay, so now let's get into the pricing. Um, the pricing is tricky because like I said, they have been changing and increasing their prices. It's not just Chanel, it's all of the luxury brands. So from the prices that I could find most recent, because not all of these are released every season, but the most recent season that I've seen them, the Pearl Crush right here, this one re uh, retails for 4,600 4, US dollars. The mini rectangle right here is $4,400. And the mini reissue is also $4,400. So a uh, rectangle and the reissue are at the same price. The Pearl Crush is $200 more. And I believe it's due to the uh, bauble, the feature of the adjustment, and that's why. So finally, I will let you know which one I would recommend, which one I like best. I, I really think this depends on the person because if you like, if your phone is bigger, for example, and you wanna put your phone in your bag, then you can only choose the rectangle or the mini reissue. If you are somebody who is short like me and want to be able to adjust the length of your bag, then the Pearl Crush would, would definitely be um, my recommendation. If you want a bag that could do it all, I would definitely recommend the mini reissue because of the way that it can adjust to a crossbody and to a shoulder bag. So you can dress this up and down and there's so many ways to wear it. This one can also uh, be folded down so you can pop up the bottom like this. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and so I found that when I travel, I just pop this back when I'm done <laughs> um, putting it into my bags that it is the best for traveling because it can do that. Whereas like these, these bags, you can't really push them, they're rigid. And so you don't wanna put this in your luggage cause you don't want it to um, distort the shape. I do want to point out that the Pearl Crush does have a thinner chain, as you can see. Um, and the reason for that is because the bobble, the, the chain needs to fit through this bobble. So in order for it to be of a certain length, you cannot be too thick. Otherwise, this bobble would be even bigger than it is. And it's already pretty big. The um, mini reissue has a bijou chain, which um, is very reminiscent of jewelry. Um, so if you're looking for something that could be very dressy, this one is is it. The width of it is very similar and comparable to the uh, this chain right here. So um, I would say this one is the least comfortable to wear. 
Um, this one is beautiful, but I think this one might be the most comfortable. So if I only can pick one out of all of these, I probably will pick the mini reissue just because it is the most versatile and it can fit the most. I've also found it very easy to travel with. And so since I like to travel a lot, I think this one is the one for me. However, I don't think I can just pick one, which is why I have all three here. Um, I like that the mini reissue can do all that, but the mini, the pearl crush is just so versatile and how you can adjust it and the lambskin is so beautiful and this one oh I love my structured bags and this is definitely it when you close it even if it's empty you have no problem closing it whereas the reissue does have a little bit of an issue if there's nothing at all in it because there's nothing to push against and the leather is so soft but this one the color is beautiful as you can see so it's my little pop of sunshine I have been really really enjoying this bag so I, I don't think I can just pick one hence why I have three but I hope my recommendations for the different reasons for why you should get each one helped you depending on your situation. I hope this video was informative and that you found it entertaining. If I've left anything out that you want more clarity on, leave it in the comments below. If you would like to see me wear these outside of the mod shots that I've included here, follow me on my Instagram at clutch to carry all. I style all of these bags with my outfits. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.